I'm here with Dr. Peter Millett, the director of shoulder surgery here at the Stedman Clinic. Thanks so much for chatting with me. Thanks, Natalie. It's good to be here. <laughs> Thank you. So I was wondering, you know, there's so much going on in regenerative medicine. Where have you seen shoulder surgeries from when you started to now? And what's your hope for the future? Great. Uh, that's a great question. There's been just a tremendous evolution in shoulder surgery over the last decade or so with less invasive surgery, uh, arthroscopic repairs. We can now treat rotator cuff disease, osteoarthritis, uh, AC joint separations, um, arthroscopically and with minimally invasive surgery that we, we really couldn't do a number of years ago. And that's due to a, a variety of factors, which include advancements in technology, which allow us to do it, improvements in surgical technique, and also uh, uh, better biologics, which allow the patients to recover more quickly and um, heal faster. And speaking of recovery, what are some things that your patients can do post-op to help them get back in the game sooner? Yeah, that's a great question. We uh, really focus on trying to get patients healed more quickly. Uh, patients want to heal well, but they also want to heal faster. And it can mean a big difference for somebody, for an athlete, for example, if they can heal two months uh, faster or a busy executive or even an everyday person that wants to get better quicker. So some of the things we're doing now are the way we do the surgery with less invasive techniques. We're adding in biologics to augment the healing. Uh, and we uh, believe in early rehabilitation and working very closely with the physical therapist so that we can speed up recovery for our patients. Wonderful. And what are just your thoughts on this idea of collaborative science? I mean, this is amazing to have all these minds in one room. What has that experience been like for you? Uh, it's, it's a great, it's a great uh, meeting, great forum for the cross-pollination of ideas. We have people here that are really basic science researchers that are going to really develop the future. And uh, we can tell them the clinical problems. They can uh, hopefully develop solutions for these problems in the lab that then we can translate to our patients to help our patients lead more active and healthier lives. So it's really, really exciting. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs>